Hey, what's up you guys? Good morning. Um, this is going to be a requested video. It was requested by like two people I know because I'm a little baby YouTube channel and I've just started. But anyway, um, it's just going to be a really, really simple, easy, lightweight makeup eye makeup. I'm not going to show everything just because everybody has their own way that they do their face and eyebrows and all that, but I'm going to show like the actual, this business right here. Um, so yeah, we're going to get started. Also, I wanted to say I'm in my kitchen. You guys are propped up on like the bench right now. That's the living room behind me. You can see my puppy sleeping on the couch. <laughs> Only because um, where my vanity is, it would be it's it's not like that wide, so it'll be really hard to prop up and like do it at the vanity. So I'm gonna do it out here. Um, but anyway, here we go. First things first, to always put on primer. And I do my eyes first, and a lot of people do their whole face first, but I don't because I feel like if you're, I tap off the eye the my brush, but sometimes fallout still happens and I don't want it all over my face when I've already done on my face. Does that make sense? So I do my eyes first. That way if there is any fallout, I can clean it up and then I do my face afterwards. Yeah. So we're gonna put that on. I, I use different ones like today. I'm using the NYX HD eyeshadow base. Looks like that. Ooh, that looks real cute. Um, usually I'm out of it so I gotta get more and NYX takes 500 years to process and deliver so if you order online and I can't find it in Target oh I gotta put on my kitty ears keep the hair out of my face oh yeah that's real cute um I usually use waterproof and it sounds weird but I do it because my left eye especially waters really bad so sometimes it helps to like not water because then it ruins my whole thing and it makes me mad Ooh, lovely it is really morning out those, those are legit Eye boogers. That's real cute. Okay. I need to stop saying real cute because that's real annoying. Okay, so usually I put like some sort of really light base on, which there's not any in my little makeup palette that I was going to use because I've hit pan on quite a few of them. Um, I'm just going to use, I have a NYX. I'm not going to pull it up because it's going to like fall everywhere and be messy, but um, just a, you know, real light base after that primer has dried on your eyes also I know I look like I'm super rough and I kind of am on my face with brushes but they're so soft so how much damage can it really do you feel me you feel me also I'm totally using the screen to as my mirror so don't mind me <laughs> all right that's done super easy okay so, I use, these are one of my little, I made it, you, you, you can get these little magnetic palette thingies and pick your own colors. And these, you can tell how much I use them. And it's a little messy, I'm sorry about that. But these are, I don't even remember the color names, but they're all from NYX. Um, I use this one pretty much always, unless I'm doing like a colored look always for like nudie looks I do it in the crease as like a transition shade because every it, it blends really well and everything kind of it flows real nice so I'm gonna do that and I'm actually using it under the eye too um, it just kind of pulls all together if I can find my brush that'd be cool okay I yeah, tap it off but it still gets all over my face I always do this first another good thing about this too is if like sometimes it falls down I can clean it up real easy Super easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Who the hell says that? I don't know why I just said that. Like, I don't really say it very often, but apparently I decided to right then. This looks heavy in this natural lighting, but <laughs> don't worry, we'll clean it up. And, brush that off. and then I just kind of, over the top of it, just try to blend that out as much as possible. I know it looks crazy right now, and it's going to. But don't worry, it's going to look good whenever it's done. Just blend your life away. That's, not, that's what I'm doing. What's Molly doing right now? Blending? Why is Molly late for work? I don't know. She's probably blending. 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 What am I even talking about? I don't, I don't know. Okay. So, wrong thing. I'm going to put just a little bit of that darker shade. 
just in that corner right there and blend that out just for a little bit of depth. Just a little, I know it looks a little patchy in this light, but like I said, we're gonna fix it. And if you don't have these colors, obviously you don't do it this way, but like similar colors, like you can see like, that's like a kind of a brownie, a deepy brown. That's a real good description. That's just a dark brown. I mean, most people have, they have tons. Uh, I mean, if you're not like a makeup person, you don't like to spend money on some makeup, they have, I mean, the naked palettes and things like that are so popular that like every drugstore brand has made their own version of it. You can, you can find something similar, so. But yeah, okay, so next color I'm gonna use is this, what is it called? <laughs> I've used it so much that the name is scratched off. I don't know what, I don't know. Look at that, you can't even see what it is. <laughs> it's the second color to the left on the Naked 3 palette. But you don't have to do any, I just like to do a little shiny. Cause I have hooded eyes, all right y'all. Hooded eyes are the devil, like, I do all this crap to my face, and then when I open, like you can't see half of it, like it looks like it right now, because the camera's come somewhat, somewhat angled down. I can't talk, so you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, but you don't have to use shiny. I just like to because it helps, open, like make my eyelid pop a little bit more, just because my eyes are so hooded, so it makes it not look like I'm sleepy as crap. So yeah. There's kids outside. I can hear them yelling. Um, and also, like, I clean my brushes like once a week. I'm sure that's probably gross, but I just wipe off on a paper towel or a washcloth or something whenever I'm using. I have a bunch of brushes. I just really like this one for eyeshadow brush. Um, I'm gonna take that base color again. Ooh, that I used at the very beginning and put it above all this to correct all this loveliness right here. See, it cleaned it right up. Ooh. Ooh, child. Yes. And then my eyebrow on this. This is my good eyebrow. It doesn't look like it right now because I'm in direct light, so it looks like I don't have a Halini eyebrow, but this one's my bad. I'm like, I can't get the crap to grow. And it's not like I over plucked them. I mean, I did in high school, but I mean, high school was kind of a while ago, so it should be growing back now. Um, and if you want to like, if it in this lighting, it looks like I wiped half of it away. Like if you if you want to deepen it up more, you can just keep doing this until you get it how you want it. I need to switch my primer because I already can feel my eyes starting to want to water and. So this kind of gross, but eh, you don't have to do this way. You can use makeup wipes, but I don't have them in front of me right now because I'm in the kitchen and not in front of my vanity like a normal person. So this is what's gonna happen. But yeah, you, know, you can just whoop, whoop, clean that up. Look at that. Any fallout doesn't matter because I haven't done my face yet. So yeah, I will be right back. I'm gonna do my face and then I'll. I'm not gonna show y'all that because it's, 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 everybody does their stuff different. So I'll be back. Okay, we are back. Now, and I look a little crazy because no eyeliner and, and mascara, but uh, yeah. So, like I said before, I have hooded eyes, and if you don't, I'm super jealous of you. <sighs> but I do. So, I can't do just a cat eye like a normal person. I have to like really look at it and like take my time. So, I'm gonna try to explain this as best I can. See where when I look up how that skin folds there? So if I just did a cat like this, that line would interrupt it and it would make it look weird. So I have to like, sometimes I'll like trace like what space I do have with my eyes fully open and then go from there and then I keep the line as close to the lash line as possible because if I don't, and if my eyes all the way, that black, I mean it doesn't look like it from this angle, but if you look at me straight on, it just, the black goes straight up to where that shadow starts. So it looks super weird. So now. Yeah. I'm gonna do that right now. And this is, I mean, I use a different one. I just got eyeliner all over my finger. Look at that. This one is, and I don't have, I mean, I love NYX, but it's not like my favorite ever. It's just easy to get a hold of. 
because I don't have an altar or Sephora near me. Well, they, they are near, but they're like 45 minutes away, so, you know. But anyway, let's blabber on. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner, and it's supposed to be waterproof. But I use a different, I use liquid eyeliner with like a super fun tip felt. Yep, yeah. all right, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna talk too, because it, it's super awkward when it's quiet. But, you know, keep it as close to the lash line as possible. You know what, I'm not gonna show all this part. Cause you, well, I'll show one eye and then I'll do the, yeah, 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 yeah. But you'll see what I'm talking about. Like, I know it looks funny right now. But, uh, I gotta go down and keep looking and then I'll flick it up. Well, it looks super weird right now. Now this eyeliner is just leaking and spreading. Why? I'll be right back. back um I had to fix that but those are done all right so next part that I always do is that um crease color that I use this guy I'll take a flat brush like that and get some tap it off and run it underneath so there's not really a harsh line, but there's still some color there and some depth for you. Look at my camera changing colors every time I move. I'm gonna put that under there. You don't have to do a lot, or you can, whatever you want. But this is supposed to be like a real lightweight. Why do I keep doing that? I don't know. It's such a bad habit when I'm talking, or when I feel awkward, or like when I stumble on my words. Also, I don't have earrings in, so that's why. They look like little buttholes. They look better when I have earrings in, I promise. Or not earrings, but you know what I mean. Plugs. Okay, what next? Oh. Also, what I like to do is get a nude eyeliner. You can find them everywhere. This one I got in, um, shout out to, uh, oh my god, why can't I talk? Learning to be fearless. Her name is Alexandra. She's a YouTuber on here. She's beautiful. And she did like a self-love box and I uh, had to get it and it came with this and actually this too, this uh, uh, mascara and it came with a face mask and it came with face wipes and a little like serum. It was, it was great. So, and a lipstick, but I won't be wearing it today because it was super lightweight, but um, I just put it on the waterline and it seems like it's nothing, but it really opens up your eyes. Um, Makes you look more awake, like it's real subtle too. This one is Blink. Eyeliner pencil smudge proof, waterproof, life proof. Looks like that. Focus. Whatever. Y'all get it. It don't matter what brand you get really. You can get any nudie eyeliner, but it does open up. And I do this before um, mascara because you know how like sometimes it'll clump you know, on your eyelashes and then it looks gross if you do your mascara afterwards it wipes it away so there's that I'm gonna curl my eyelashes mm -hmm. okay so this stuff I love it and it actually also came in that box it's called it's so long Length Defining Mascara. It's by Elizabeth Mott. If any of you guys are curious, it looks like that. It was kind of curved, but I like it a lot. Especially like if you're not a false lash wearing girl and you'd rather just throw on some mascara, like look at that. And it's not real clumpy either. Like some mascaras get super clumpy. Work it all in there. But it is lovely. Weird mascara face. Okay. Sweet. All right, do the other eye. A 
Oh yes, girl. Look at those. These are always like a hula, and this one's all like, just like freaking eyebrow. I really need to get them threaded or whatever, so it's done. But um, yep, this is pretty much the finished product. It's super simple. It's really not that hard. You can find colors that work for you, whatever is best for your skin tone. Um, but yeah, I will show a picture at the end of this, so it's not such weird lighting. But um. Hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not already and I will see you next Saturday. Bye.